Welcome back to another Sims 4 video. It is 1 a.m. The trailer for The Sims 4 Werewolves is about to drop. So we're gonna watch it together for the first time. If you wanna check out the trailer as well, click the link down below. And as a heads up, I'm gonna be replacing the music because it's probably gonna be copyrighted. And if it looks like I'm half asleep, it's because we just drove from Melbourne to Sydney over the last couple of days. So I'm exhausted, it's 1 a.m. But I'm also excited, so let's watch. Let's go. Oh. Oh, swimmable lake. Actually, that was one of the hints, I think, as well. Okay. So running through. Oh, hang on. We got. Was that another animal? <gasps> Wait. Can we. <gasps> they can. Oh, okay. Okay. That's good. I was really worried werewolves would, like, walk on two feet. But it seems like they can actually, like, gallop. <laughs> okay, that's transforming. A little bit of gardening, classic Sims 4. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's cool. Kind of like a little hangout place. Okay, so it looks like you do change, at least when there was like a full moon. Now this is the, I think that's the werewolf people were saying looks like a Cats movie. What do the others look like? Okay, you know. I mean, I think it looks better than Sims 3 werewolves. Oh, okay, they're just going to the toilet. Wait, can you have... I know that was a toddler in an outfit, but... I don't know if you can have toddler werewolves. Ooh, we can dig tunnels. Oh, or dig into the ground? I don't know. Ah, they're bros. They're just <laughs> having a good fight. Oh, yeah, okay. That guy definitely, like, tunneled through the ground. Oh, that... You know, that look, that look, if you can actually have a pack like this run through the forest, that'd be awesome. Whether, I don't know if that's just a thing for the trailer, but that'd be kind of cool. Ooh, and you go up at the top of the big rock and howl at the moon. Run wild, June 16th, that's not long. We gotta get prepped for our LP, like right now. Okay, let's, um, let's pre-order now. No, let's not do that. Ah, here we go. This is what we want, the key features. So first of all, the fact that they're actually running like on all fours, I think is really good. <laughs> I'm super excited about that. Cause like, yeah, look, I understand there's a lot of criticism around um, when the leak of the look of the werewolves came out that they kind of looked like the cats movie, <laughs> which yeah, look, they kind of do, but hopefully the animations help sell it a bit more. Cause I, I'm gonna guess that they're probably like more humanoid in The Sims so that they can actually use stuff in The Sims game. But I mean, I don't know. But that's, I reckon that's cool. That That's really cool. And it looks like the full moon does actually change you into a werewolf. So life is on the wild. Transform into a werewolf and embrace or fight your animalistic nature. Beyond Rocky, a fearsome form, werewolf Sims will have a unique temperaments and abilities. Okay, Sims will have, well, sorry. Werewolf Sims will have unique temperaments and abilities be affected by the phase of the moon. Okay, so we're definitely getting moon phases much like we had in the Sims 3 Supernatural and experience wolf specific life events. Hmm, that's intriguing. I wonder if we'll learn more now. <laughs> Actually, let's have a look at the picture. Yeah, so we've got the moon in the background. They're changing. A couple of little fighting there. Running, cool. Alpha or lone wolf. Craft your werewolf identity. Were you bitten or were you born into a werewolf family? However it happened, now you've got to decide what kind of werewolf or what kind of wolf you want to be. Find a pack to prowl in the night with. Okay, that's cool. Cause that might mean we actually do get to have that fun like running through the forest uh, image together. <laughs> That'd be fun. Meet your fated mate atop howling point or shun all that try to make it as a lone wolf. Lycanthrope lore, if that's how you say that. <laughs> There's a lot to learn about werewolves and their origins. Unravel werewolf, vampire, and spellcaster lore as you read books, discover secret tunnels, and grow your collection and interact with, uh, the, with denizens of Moonwood Mill. <laughs> yeah, that's the toddler in the outfit. I'm going to assume that toddlers don't actually have a werewolf form. 
And this currently is the only information I can find about the pack. But let's go back through the trailer. I love this crane, by the way, and all the logs. Oh, if those are like world edit placeable, that's going to be super useful. I can't wait to see what, <laughs> can't wait to see what Gluon does with those. Okay, so a lot of the stuff in the beginning was sort of flashing between nighttime, daytime. I love all the items as well that we can see. I love all, oh, all the broken stuff is going to be so cool. And yeah, so we definitely have another swim. I love the reflection of the moon right there, by the way. Definitely another swimmable location, which is nice. Just hanging out in the good old lake. And we can get a good overview of the town here, which looks to be, say, a rural little town. And given it's called Moonwood Mill, it's like a logging town. I mean, we've got all the logs cut down over there. Bunch of factories. Nice river through the middle, a couple bridges. Running through the forest. So this, is this, this sim gets turned, I think, right? They're chased. When they're running, they're already flashing back and forth. Are they just fighting? Okay. <laughs> I need to rewatch this trailer. Okay, we get another look at the world here. Yeah, same sort of thing. I do like the vibe of this world. Okay, there's our main sim from the trailer. Maybe we're just getting like flash forwards of her experience. So these people are all werewolves. Dang. Who isn't a werewolf in this town? Got like a little sort of hangout place here. By the looks of it. I love this vibe right here. <laughs> this is so cool. I love the couch. It's really nice. <laughs> the little gnome. Yeah, I love the couch. And I really love, first of all, uh, the whole aesthetic of like this old industrial town. We've got all this sort of rundown looking furniture. Crack. Oh, cracks. <gasps> Wait, we don't really have floor cracks yet. We've got like floor cracks and scratches. That door looks awesome. <laughs> that looks so cool. And then the next one, this is like, is that a new bassinet? Does that mean you can have werewolf baby? <laughs> this looks like a really fun place to hang out, to be honest. <laughs> this is nice, like, gym bro environment. <laughs> Get your workout on. I love all the scattered cans and food everywhere. Little sort of floating light thing going on here as well. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, so that's definitely, I think, also, I mean, it said in the text, but confirming that I think we definitely have the, the lunar cycle, because... Watching that moon flick through all the phases there. And she's like, oh, I'm turning into a werewolf. Presumably on the full moon. Very nice. So yeah, I am really, I, I've never been um, an occult fan in The Sims. I mean, obviously we've played all of them in The Sims 4. But The Sims 3, I never really played Supernatural because I didn't really like it. I don't really like this gameplay that much. But considering we'll obviously do a Let's Play of this, I think, <laughs> peeing on the ground. I think it's really good that they have a running animation that isn't just regular sim running. I also like the digging into the ground. That's kind of fun. I am curious to see how far some of these details go in terms of like, okay, yeah, if we run like completely different, that's cool. But like, if I need to, I don't know, make a sandwich in the kitchen, am I just going to walk in the kitchen and start making it regularly? You know, <laughs> like how, how different is it going to be there? I love, oh, I love this scene with them all running through the forest. That's cool. It kind of sounds like, also yeah, we have, I was just looking at the actual werewolves as well. It looks like we have a few different little detail, like definitely different ears, obviously different colors. Howling at the moon, looking, I love that little space up there. That is the perfect werewolf howling spot. Yeah, so it does sound like from, you get to decide what kind of wolf you want to be. Uh, and then also werewolf sims will have a unique temperaments and abilities. So whereas, Saying you get to decide what kind of wolf you want to be, that can just be ambiguous, just be like, oh, you can do whatever you want in The Sims. But I think specifically mentioning Sims will have unique temperaments and abilities. That sounds like it's going to be kind of like the vampire system where you sort of choose which abilities you want. And I guess you probably also have like um, the negative effects as well. I can't remember what it's called with the vampires, but something along those lines. But yeah, um, so that's the... Wait, can I get that image? Oh, I want, <laughs> I can't, I, I don't know. I don't have the exact image now without the blue over it, but this is the image that sort of leaked the other day. And I don't blame people for thinking this looks super goofy. I mean, it's The Sims 4. It's probably, it's, you know, I'm sure it's supposed to look goofy, but I think seeing them in the actual game is less goofy. But I wanted to pull up this post. I saw this over on Reddit. Um, and yeah, this is a look back at previous werewolves in The Sims games. So Sims 1, Sims 2, Sims 3. And if we go through, we can actually see, you know, a few different shots of the Sims 1 there. This is the Sims 2 werewolves. You know, look, they did great for the time. <laughs> and Sims 3, yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, um, I guess. I don't know, what would you prefer? Like, I'm not a werewolf person. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and say one is better than the other. But I will say, I think this looks like the Sims 4. 
And also kind of like the Cats movie. Speaking of the Cats movie, I, <laughs> I just got to show you this post. <laughs> that was so funny. I mean, yeah, look, they're not wrong. Look, they're not wrong. I, I, I won't say that. But there you go, that's the uh, reveal trailer of The Sims 4 Werewolves coming out June 16th. We will be doing a Let's Play on this pack with my big wallet Sims as per usual. It'll be Angus and Nina, I think is the plan at the current point in time, who are currently in the Cottage Living Let's Play. Uh, let me know what you want to see in that in the comments down below and let me know your thoughts on this pack as well I'm excited for them to show more of this to be honest and I'm excited for you guys to see it as well Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day and also good night. I'm really tired now. Actually, I've got to edit a good night <laughs>